Hi, first graders. Today, I'm going to read Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. It's another of the bear stories like Bear Wants More. And this one's about losing a tooth, just like you have all, most of you have all lost a tooth this year. So, Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson. Love the photos in this book. The pictures are so nice. From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch, as Bear and his friends all nibbled on their, you know the rhyming word, lunch. Bear savored every bite. He gulped and he gobbled. Then there in his mouth, something wiggled and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. I'll show you another picture. Yep. Bear pointed in his mouth and he said, Oh dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned and he worried. Tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Oh no, he doesn't realize that it will grow back. Hare said, open wide. Then he looked inside and saw Bear's loose tooth. We can turn this off so you can see the book better. Mouse squeaked. Don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, a new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren. I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. So I think they're going to help him try to get that tooth out so the new one can grow in. Wren perched on Bear's lip and he got a good grip on Bear's loose. Wren pulled on his tooth, on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out? asked Bear, but it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren. So Owl grabbed the tooth, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, I'll try. And he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. They're all trying to work together to pull it out. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then, dot, dot, dot. You know what you do when you have a loose tooth, what I tell you to do. Bear used his tongue and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled to and fro. Then, what do you know? So while they're all resting, he's wiggling, and look, looks like that tooth a lot like your teeth look when you're getting really close to them falling out. What do you know? Bear's tooth fell out. And if you're wondering where it is in this picture, it's right there. I think there's a tooth fairy in this story. Hmm. Bear danced a big dance. He grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth. And he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror and he laughed at his smile. A new tooth would come, but it might take a while. That night in bed, right next to his head, lay Bear's loose tooth. He put it right on a plate. Let me show you this other picture. He's pretty excited when he looks in the mirror and realizes that there's going to be a new tooth growing in. While he slept and he snored, a fairy fluttered in. And she left blueberries where Bear's tooth had been. I don't think Bear would really care about getting money because they don't really spend money in the wilderness. So I think getting berries is like getting a big pile of candy for a bear. Blueberries is a big treat. He woke in the morning and found the new treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled and he felt something wobble. Oh no. Uh 
Oh, there's loose tooth. He has another loose tooth that he's going to have to start wiggling and wobbling. And there he is, back in his den at the end. And that story is Bear's Loose Tooth. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a nice afternoon. Take care.